Well, hello guys and welcome back. Happy New Year. And more importantly, this one is now 23. Anyway, whilst I go about my morning, I thought I would chat with you about our kind of plans for what we're going to be doing this year, what shows we're going to. And basically, I did really miss vlogging over the Christmas period. I missed that week, obviously, because I was just really busy. But I figured that actually I really, really enjoy doing this. So I'm going to continue. I didn't film any of Dublin's like working hunter career. And it's one of my biggest regrets in life. So this year, I am aiming to film my year with really good shows like big county shows I'm going to take the vhs seriously this year and become a member and do the regional final and hopefully do the supreme finals because she always wins her area competition and then never gets really looked at in the regional and i really that's a big goal of mine so yeah just getting dubs all mucked out then obviously all living in at the minute dublin's actually just got over quite a bad bout of diarrhea which is why it's all over my wall so i need to clean that off but that cost me a lot of money at the vets but on the subject of money i do need to try and keep it a little bit sensible again this year which is why i think we're going to aim for fewer shows but better shows i have got a few clinics booked in at the end of january and february i'm looking for some winter shows just to get back into it and then I've got lots of counties in mind. They are all sort of like the VHS area and direct qualifiers. Ones like North of England, Royal Cheshire, Derby County and Hanbury County. And I just really want to go out and do the more fun stuff. Like I said, it's just making the memories, isn't it? Want to get my concourse dress out, obviously, a lot more. Dublin has just had um, 13 days off. I tried to keep her in work over winter, but I get too busy with my job and then we have no lights in our school and it just doesn't work out. So we've been doing a little bit of hacking and I'm doing the odd lunge session. Lunging for her really isn't difficult. I keep it to like 10, 15 minutes. We do lots of walk. Um, she's on this like German aid. I don't know the real name for it, but it's known as a German aid in England. And it just like stops her from sticking her head in the air and running around like a giraffe. But yeah, I sort of walk her and then I pick her up and do more of an active walk. And then we do like two minutes of trot each rain at the minute and then I'll build that up. But anyway, she's coming back into work. Um, in two, no, in a week or so, I'm going to meet up with some friends and do some arena hires. And then, like I said, we've got clinics. I've got a Katie Carter clinic. And then I'm just going to look for some winter showing just to get us back in the swing of it whilst also going to be booking more lessons. As I said before, she's won all of her area competitions of the VHS. So you have to place top four and then you go through to the regional and then in the regional class you have to place top two and then you go through to Supreme. She's won the areas and we've never been looked at in the regionals. So it's I'm determined this year. Also, our BD Team Quest team is going to be coming back this year. Again, we are determined to actually get through to the finals and see if we can place top 15 in our area, which means we then qualify to go through to their regionals. Um, we're even going to get team jumpers, which, you know, wow, we are really taking it seriously. Um, hopefully we can get a few new like teammates as well. There's four of us now, which helps. But that's another really good thing that we're hoping to do this year. So, yeah, I'm really excited. And then lastly, we also have like our regular shows that we go to. So we did ESUK, which was at Arena UK for years. And I stopped when I first went to Equifest just because they're quite close together. Anyway, Equifest has now changed location and that's going to be at Arena UK. Again, it's actually really close to ESUK. It's two days apart. Um, and a really UK is like an hour and a half drive for us and it's that kind of thing of weighing up how expensive it's going to be to A, do both, B, drive back and then drive back there again like a day apart or C, how expensive it is to actually stay there and it just means that she'll have two days off between. So that's something that's sort of on the cards of me and ring we shall see it obviously gets rather expensive so I've just got to be careful because I am actually getting married in August that costs a lot of money. So yeah, it's actually looking like a really, really super exciting year. Vlog-wise, I've got so many good things coming up sort of towards the end of January. I've just got these first sort of two, three weeks where we're not really doing a lot because I'm just bringing her back into work. I'm going to get her super fit again. Luckily, she didn't lose a lot of her fitness on her two weeks off because she has been getting out in the field every day. And two weeks really isn't a long time in terms of like to lose fitness for a horse so yeah I think she's doing really well she does need another clip but I'm kind of hoping that I could 
get away with it maybe. It just determines how sweaty she's going to get because obviously she's allergic to her own sweat. But we normally get some quite nice weather, February, March, and I'd quite like her to have a little bit of coat that she can go straight out naked. Um, I don't like having to rub them up when it's sunny, so if I can not clip her, that would be amazing. Anyway, I think that is us all caught up. I'm off to pay this vet bill now, so wish me luck, and I shall see you next time. Bye!